Ladder climbers, in this video, we are going to be discussing why an accounting degree is worth it. Now, before we get to the video, please tap the like button as it helps with the YouTube algorithm. On this channel, we discuss careers, college degrees, real estate investing, personal finance, all of the things to help you climb the ladder and become a success in life. If all that sounds good to you, then please tap the subscribe button and hit that notification bell to be alerted when I drop that content that your mama and your daddy never taught you. Now, let's get to the video. This video is going to be all about accounting, and I'm going to be talking about salary, job satisfaction, and demand. And I'm also going to talk about some noteworthy qualities that are going to be important for this career. So I want to remind you that this is just an overview of an accounting degree and some of the stuff that you do in the job after you get an accounting degree. I'm going to go over some of the important factors at the end. I want to remind you that this is just an opinion based on my research. And before you make any decisions on your career, do your own research. Not my problem if you choose the wrong career. All right. So first let's talk about salaries. Since many of you want to become high value and making money is an important part of that. So one of the great things about an accounting degree, which I'm going to touch on a lot more later, is the fact that it's an extremely flexible. Like many business degrees, there are tons of flexibility in the direction that you can take your career with an accounting degree. You can become an accountant or an auditor, a financial analyst, a personal finance advisor, or even a financial manager. Accountants can do the job of an accountant as well as finance managers, finance majors, and all. More on that in another video though. So to put these numbers in perspective, the median annual wage for all occupations is about $38,000. And it is around $68,000 for business occupations. Accountants are also often really business savvy and they can end up in high ranking positions such as CEO or vice president. According to the small business CEO, one in four CEOs are accountants. Getting a degree in accounting gives you so many options and that's what we need. We need a lot of options. There is a ton of different certifications you can get with it. There is a ton of different industries that you can go into and all of these are going to have different salaries. Now, there are several different variations of accounting degrees, but when you start, you can expect to earn in the mid fifties after about five to 10 years of working, you can earn somewhere around 80,000 to 140,000 a year. And this shows that although you may start off low, there are tons of opportunities and growth in the accounting degree. So one thing that's for sure, is that you will be able to make dollars in the future. Now, accounting is one where you can get to six figures and become high value if that's your goal. And there's not many four year degrees that will allow you to do that. Next, we're going to talk about the demand. The demand for accountants is around 70%. I took in consideration all of the jobs such as becoming an auditor, a controller, a finance manager. So overall, it is good. I did some research on LinkedIn and there are tons of jobs out there on accounting. So you can work wherever. Another thing to consider when you're thinking about the demand is how essential is your job? Or in other words, how much does society need your job? Think about it this way. Just about all healthcare careers are essential. Let's just say a boy rocket man sends a nuclear and things get out of hand. We would still need doctors. We would still have doctors and nurses and other healthcare professionals helping out to 
because they need to take care of the sick and injured people. But in my opinion, accounting is also an essential profession as well. Businesses will always need an accountant to balance their books and do their taxes. So in my opinion, as long as we always have a government that makes new laws, we'll also always have accountants. And next, we're gonna talk about job satisfaction. So overall, yes, accounting can get a bad rap because many people see accounting as busy work, tedious, boring, and reality of it is, is there are some truths to that. Accountants' job satisfaction, though, outpaces many other professions. According to the survey of 10,000 workers by Hudson, which is a human capital consultancy firm, 78% of 873 accounting and financial workers hold that they are very pleased with what they do or they are somewhat satisfied with the jobs. So I think one thing that's really amazing about business degrees in general is that you end up learning the language of money. Business degrees tend to teach you a lot about budgeting, a lot about saving, a lot about networking, investing, in leadership and these are all of the entrepreneurial skills that give you a very high chance at being financially successful in life in fact when you look up the statistics you find that many millionaires do have business degrees out of all the degrees accounting is the sixth most likely to make you a millionaire six out of the top 10 degrees that create the most millionaires are business related degrees. So to sum this up for you all, accounting is a very flexible career that can lead you to either being an entrepreneur or maybe moving into a high level position in a business. Think about this, even if you're just a small business accountant, doing the taxes for all of these different types of business will tell you which ones are doing well and which ones are struggling. This would give you insider information on which industries you should invest in, or maybe which industries you should take out a business loan and buy it. I think this is one of the big reasons why so many people who are millionaires are accountants. With an accounting degree, you can work in a bunch of different industries. You can go a lot of different paths, whichever way you want to go. You're really not stuck to one thing. You have options and we need options. Now that Uncle Ant has taught you something that your mama and your daddy didn't, you should invite me to your next barbecue. Also, don't forget to check out my other video. Like and subscribe if you haven't done so. Comment to give me your thoughts. And until next time. Peace.